Hi everybody, it's time for science. Before we get started, I just want to let mom and dad know before you start the science experiment, if you're participating at home, you'll want to cut out the flowers that were in your packet um, for this week first so that it's already ready and we don't have scissors laying around. So I'm going to put the scissors away because I've already cut out my flowers. All right, let's start science. We are all scientists and scientists do one, two, three, four things. So let's go over what we do as scientists. First, we observe, we use our eyes to see what do we have in front of us. Then we predict, all scientists predict, we use our minds, our very smart minds to guess what do you think is going to happen. Then as scientists, we all explore, we do the experiment. We use our eyes, our ears, our nose, and our hands, but we do not taste the experience. Then we check our answers. Scientists always check to see if our prediction was the same or different. Before we start our science experiment, we need to cut our last page out so that we're ready for checking our experiment. Our last page, our last two pages, look like this. And then you want to cut out these four squares two that say, oops, sorry, open up, and two that say, sink to the bottom. You'll also need glue for that at the end. Let's go ahead and get started and be scientists. If you are not participating in a science experiment at home, please watch the video and go through each page with your student. Your book looks different because it's cut in half. I printed it on a large sheet so that everybody can see it, but yours will look like this and it will be a half sheet of paper. Please use a bingo dabber or the stamper that I gave you at the beginning of, the, of um, our shelter in place to answer these questions and to mark each square as we go along. This will be included in most of your weekly progress monitoring surveys. So if you can save this just to see as you're answering that survey, how well your student did each week with our science experiment, that would be greatly appreciated. And by them watching this video and going along with each step in their pages, they're participating in this science experiment. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We are all scientists and the first thing we're going to do is observe what do we see. Let's see. What do we see here? I see a bowl. So we can use our bingo dabber or our marker. Miss Kat's going to go grab her marker real quick. And your student can bingo dab or mark along with us that we see a bowl. I see a bowl. I also see this big thing of water. Water. I see water. And I see a paper flower. I see a paper flower. Good. We are all scientists and we just observed what we see. We see a bowl, we see water, and we see a paper flower. Good job, everybody. Let's turn that page and let's predict. We're all scientists and we use our smart, smart brains to think about what do we think it will do? Do we think it's going to sink to the bottom? our flower or do we think our flower is going to open up as your student points to each one you can mark and bingo dab what they think is going to happen this is a choice of two if they're having a hard time pointing to these two you can always open up that those two pieces that you've cut out 
and hold them apart so that they can tap to which one they predict is going to happen. And there is no wrong answer here. This is what you think might happen. A prediction is always your best guess. I think the flower is going to maybe sink all the way to the bottom. That's what I think. Maybe I think our flower will sink all the way to the bottom. That's Miss Kyle's prediction. After we've made a prediction, it's time to be more scientists and explore. It's time to do our experiment. We are going to look, we are going to listen, and we are going to use our nose to smell, but we are not going to taste it. And we can possibly feel it, but not in this experiment today. Okay, let's do our experiment. First, we need to take our flower. Miss Kyle used crayons to decorate her flower. If you want to decorate your flower, you can color it with crayons or markers. I'm going to decorate this blank one. So you can go ahead and choose a color if you're doing it. I think I want to use a pretty purple. I like purple flowers. I'm going to draw lines on my flowers. I want to make it pretty for Mother's Day. Remember, oh, moms like getting flowers from their kids. I want to use red. I put purple lines on my flower. I'm going to put red polka dots. Just some red dots to decorate my flower. Let's see. It's pretty. Okay. And I'm going to color the center yellow. Okay, let's see. This is what Miss Kyle's flower looks like. If you've noticed, when I cut out the flower, I cut out each individual petal. This is important for our science experiment. So if you have not done that and you are doing this at home, make sure you cut out each petal. All right, my flowers are decorated. Next, it's time to fold our petals down. So I am going to take each petal and fold it into the center. It's okay if they overlap. As I'm folding, I'm just folding it into the middle and the petals are all in the middle now. I'm going to do the same thing to our other one. My pets are kind of coming up. All right. I'm going to fold my petals in lightly. And you cannot see the center. Fold it in. My petals are folded. Next, I have my bowl. We need to put the water in the bowl. I'm going to dump the water in the bowl. Can you see the water in the bowl? Good. And next we need to put our flower in. I'm going to move my camera so that everybody can see the bowl. There we go. Okay. It's time to put our flowers in the bowl. See what happens. Bear with me, my camera is falling. There we go. Okay. Ready? And watch our flowers. I can see the petals. 
<gasps> Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm using my eyes to see those petals open up. I'm using my nose and I don't smell anything. I'm using my ears and I don't hear anything. This experiment is for our eyes to see the petals opening up into the beautiful flowers. Wow. Our experiment showed us that these flowers open up. Cool. How cool. Okay. It's time to explore and reflect on our exploration. All right. There we go. I'm going to turn the page and check our answers. What did it do? We know that our flowers opened up. They opened up and our students can follow along in this video and mark opened up on their packets at home. Okay, to finish up our experiment to help us reflect, we can take our last page and we can look and see what did we predict on our first page and what actually happened. So I have my four pieces, just in case we needed two of the same. And I have my prediction page. I'm going to flip to my prediction page. You can see Miss Kyle predicted that it was going to sink. I'm gonna take my glue stick, on that box and I predicted that our flowers were going to sink but we know that when we checked our answers it opened up our beautiful flowers oh that's a lot of glue our beautiful flowers opened up When I look at my prediction and my checking of what happened, was it the same or different? Are these pictures the same or are they different? These pictures are different. My answer is different. My prediction was different from what happened. That's how I check my answer. All right, happy Thursday, everybody. I hope everyone enjoyed our beautiful science experiment. Let me show you our beautiful flowers open up. How pretty, I'm sorry, our beautiful flowers. Everybody have a great day, bye.